Hello, I'm going to take just a couple of minutes to show you one of the features in iTest 4.0, which is interactive session launching. Using the new activities view, in a couple of button clicks, I can get sessions started very easily and efficiently. In the past, you may have had to set up test beds and so forth, session profiles. This is much easier and quicker if what your goal is, is to work interactively. So for example, to start a Telnet session, I just double click on Telnet. I'm going to call this my router1, and I just need an IP address. Okay, and there we go. We now have a Telnet session up and running. So if, for example, I'm working interactively, this is a quick way to do that. Now suppose that this device also has SNMP support, so let's open up an SNMP session. That's on the uh, same device, so let's also call that router1. And now we've got an SNP session. Okay. Likewise, I can start and use any of the other session types that are around. Tickle shell, great. Let's just start it. And of course, all the way up to quite sophisticated sessions. Web sessions, for example. I could start a web session. And we'll see uh, my web browser starting to work. So I could look for Fanfare Community, for example. And here we are in our discussion forums. So what you're starting to see is that as each session is get started, we know about the active sessions underway, and I can easily switch between them. We're also remembering any settings that you filled in, so if you want to use them again later, they're very easy to access. Um, and yet, we haven't created any overhead, so there's any reason not to use this for doing some quick interactive work. Now, if I leave, my test will very nicely clean up. It's remembering information for me. But if I ever go back in later, those saved sessions are still around. So for example, I have my router, and if I'd like to open that session, SNMP session again with it, I can do that. Pull the interface table. Maybe I'd like to start a Telnet to that same device. And because everything that you're doing interactively is available to iTest, it's very easy to go pull a capture report at any given point. So here's what started since I entered this activity this time. I've started two sessions. SNMP, I have access to all that information. I have access to all the command information, and this could include web or traffic generators, just about anything if I want to use them interactively. So in that way, this can be a great way to, for example, file an attachment to a bug report that you may want to use, or do a number of other things. So that's uh, launch sessions. It's as easy as that. We're hoping that you'll find it useful when you're not trying to necessarily automate tests, but you would like to take, take advantage of the tools in iTest and to be able to capture what is going on in case you ever need a report. Thank you.